Yeah, so 1517 really grew out of a question fundamentally that Peter Thiel was asking back in 2010, uh, which was, how do I find more Mark Zuckerbergs? How do I find more Patrick Collisons? You know, Peter had made most of his money actually uh, as an angel investor in Facebook and a handful of other companies, uh, although he's known as one of the PayPal co-founders. And he put together a program called the Thiel Fellowship in 2010, 2011, uh, and my colleagues, Michael and Danielle, our partners and co-founders at, at uh, 1517, uh, were the co-founders of the Teal Fellowship with Peter Teal back in 2010, 2011. Uh, so after four or five years of running that, they noticed a couple things. Uh, one, that it was seemed to be following a uh, venture portfolio kind of model, which is incredibly relevant to what we'll be talking about today. Uh, in the sense that they took about 20 people every year under the age of 20, 23. Uh, and, you know, uh, a handful of those people ended up building companies that were hundreds of millions of dollars, more than a billion dollars in market cap in some cases. In 2015, uh, they went back to Peter and they asked uh, for uh, his blessing to go start 1517 Fund because they viewed it as a, a good, as, as it needed to fill a market gap. Because a lot of the Teal Fellows at the time despite this kind of like popular media narrative that, you know, you have to be a young person in Silicon Valley if you want to get funded, the opposite is true in most cases. Right. Like you, if you're an investor, you know, you, you want to see someone who has experience and uh, who has some gray hairs on their head from previous exits, right? right.